Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to download MODIS land cover data from the year 2001 to 2020 from Google Earth Engine. So let us first have a view of about this data set and its key features. So let us begin with it. You can see the assert name that is data name is this is the assert name and it is being derived from the following products modis terra and aqua land cover types since are used as modis and the temporal coverage is from the year 2001 to 2020 it is updated annually per year per year you'll be getting a single image so time of the image it is acquired throughout the year and published early next year for uh, each year only one image will be available land cover image will be available and you can see the selected band so there are many types of uh, land cover classification generated from the modis data so we are going to use lc type 1 igbp classification and the projection is sinusoidal by default the spatial resolution of this data set is 500 meters so you can uh, do the land cover mapping for a larger area so if you come down to the next option that is pixel values it ranges from 1 to 17 each pixel has its own land cover types so that will be seen and if you follow it the data type and uh, mostly no data value is often given as 0 so why we are choosing LC type 1 as you can see here there are many types land cover types which are available so LC1 type it uses the IGBP land cover classification scheme which has 17 detailed land cover types is widely used in research environmental monitoring and climate modeling makes it easy to compare with other global data sets like GLC 2000 and ESA world cover so as you have seen that already 17 land cover classes are there you can see each value represents a land cover type so for example value 1 represents evergreen needle leaf forest 2 represents evergreen broadleaf forest likewise you can see 5 represents mixed forest so each value is having its own land cover type you can see the color schemes for each of this if you come down you can see the description for it so 0 means unclassified no data and you can see uh, what is the value 1 so evergreen needle leaf forest it is it can be a coniferous trees or cold climatic region and if you take the evergreen broadleaf forest it is tropical rainforest likewise so I'll be sharing this in the description also you can just check it out now let us go on to the Google Earth engine and let us see how to download the land cover data that is how to load the land cover data how to filter it by date and finally how to download it and visualize it so now let us fix our study area I am going to use draw a rectangular to fix my study area and I am going to use mouse left click to draw a box like this and choose the study area so this is my study area after finishing it let's click exit at the top you can find it has been this polygon has been uh, imported and you can see the name for it geometry so the first step is we are going to define our study boundary so I'm going to remove the study boundary instead of that I am going to just type in geometry so I have type in geometry in order to import the boundary which I have drawn from imports the next is you can see we are going to load the modis land cover data sets and I am defining just a, a variable I just uh, giving a name for it modis lc and if you want to find this data from the top you can search land cover modis now hit the button enter and you can see mcd12q1 
dot zero six one modis land cover type yearly global 500 meters if you click on it you can get more information about this so you can copy the asset link and if you want you can gather some information about this data sets and the bands in it so as i already told you different types of land cover types is available so in that we are going to use lc type 1 there are some more classifications which is also available you can check it out what are the classes citation and dois now let us close it close it once again and we are going to paste the asset which we have copied from there and after that you can see i am using dot filter to filter it by date so the data data is available from the year 2001 to 2020 so let me first download it for the year 2020 right now after that you can see i am using the function dot first three to bring on the first image of the year so as i already told you that this image has been collected throughout the year and one single image is been preparing for every year and it will be published on the next year that that is how this works now then the next is we are going to select the land cover classification scheme so i have already mentioned that we are going to use lc type 1 igp so this uh, better suits in my perspective so I am defining another variable called as land cover. So here I am going to specify modis lc. So I am using modis lc. lc is nothing but land cover. So in that we are going to select. I am using the function dot select to select lc type 1 variant. And after that we are going to visualize the land cover data in the Google Earth engine. So for that I am using first I am using the function map dot center object. So using this function based on the AOI the study of interest boundary the image will be centered and after that you can see the zoom level you can increase or decrease the zoom level so I'm just uh, putting it as 10 okay it will be better now after that we are going to add the layer using this add uh, map dot add layer we are going to add the land cover LC1 type land cover into the Google Earth engine and we are also going to clip the land cover data using the AOI area of interest so here you can see AOI is nothing but the geometry which we have drawn now followed by that you can see I have defined the minimum and maximum values 1 to 17 so we have already seen that this uh, LC1 land cover uh, LC1 type has 17 land cover classes starting from 1 to 17 so that is why I was uh, given the minimum and maximum value 1 to 17 in this range and I have uh, chosen the color schemes for it also you can find this color schemes when you just search for the data in the band section if you just come down you can see the LC type 1 you can see the color codes for each of this land cover classification you can use that that is what I have used here so I have given 17 different colors based on the given record and finally I am going to just name the layer the layer will be appearing over here I have given a name name called as modis land cover then after that we are going to export it to Google Drive that we can be download later so for exporting I am using this function export dot image to drive and you can see the image is equal to land cover which we have already defined land cover you can see here and followed by that we are using the function dot clip in order to clip that imagery so this we are defining separately because we need to download this image right and after that you can see I have given some uh, descriptions for it modis land cover 2020 next is we are going to create a folder in Google Drive so I have used the folder 
and just given a name google earth uh, that is ge exports automatically the folder will be created in the google drive and followed by that you can see the file name so i have just given modis lc2020 you can edit the name and all you can give any name to it now finally the region is our area of interest aoi scale is 500 meters so the default resolution of this uh, modis uh, land cover data is 500 meters by 500 meters and you can see the projection type i am using the geographic coordinate system it's a universal so finally i am also using the maximum pixels so you can uh, export up to 1 trillion pixels this is just in case and after doing this all we can run the script click on run now you can see here the image is being loading up let us remove the geometry and now you can see or visualize the image modis land cover image so from that image we have generated the modis land cover product you can also inspect it for example if you just click on here using the inspector tool you can see the lc type is equal to 17 so 17 represents water bodies likewise you can zoom and for example you can just select this part of the region and you can see it is lc type 1 sorry lc type 1 5 5 means mixed forest so now let us export it so move on to taskbar section and here in order to export this image to drive we need to click on run so we have already given the task name here if you want you can change it and you can see the coordinate reference system and scale we have already defined here and finally the folders inside which this will be saved so i'm going to give a name called as modis lc 2020 file format is geotip let us run it and we can check the pro progress here currently it is showing less than a minute so now the export has been completed as you can see now we shall open it in the drive by clicking in open in drive now let us download this image so the download has been successfully completed let us view it in the GIS platform so this is the downloaded image and let's so now add data and browse to the location where you have downloaded the file so this is the data what is LC2020 so you can see here this is how it looks like when you add it now here right click go on to properties and please use uh, unique values yes so now you can see here we got 17 classes so now we can assign colors based on the values for example you can see value 17 is nothing but water bodies you can choose the color and give it accordingly like this and 13 is built up so I'm going to give it a grayscale color like this you can easily find it so like this you can choose the colors and give it accordingly based on the reference value so I hope that this video will be helpful for you for downloading the land cover data sets from the year 2001 to 20 from uh, Modis so you can also clip your clip the land cover data using your study area file for example this is my study area file and please do make sure that both of the projection are in same units otherwise the output won't be of much use you can see both are in different projections and in order to calculate area and all we need to project it 
to the projected coordinate system. So first go on to search and in order to change the in order to project it project the shape file you can use project data management so click on the tool now input your study area boundary so you can see this is the default projection of my shape file and I'm going to change the projection type so I'm going to use projection coordinate system and UTM zone in that I'm going to use WGS 1984 northern hemisphere So minus WGS1984 UTM zone 44N, N is north. So click on OK. If you want, you can save it to any particular location using this option. So I'm going to leave it as default. Click on OK. So if you are just wondering how to select your UTM zones, projected coordinate system, you can see the link dmaps.co.uk. I'll be sharing the link in the description. You can just use it. So using this as a reference, you can find the zones for your area of interest. So for example, if you want to select this part of the study area, it comes in. You can see the zone 42 and uh, you can just check the hemisphere, northern or southern hemisphere. We just move on to the left hand side. You can see whether it's in northern hemisphere or in southern hemisphere. So above this comes in northern hemisphere and below this comes in southern hemisphere so likewise you can find out the zones right so now we have successfully projected a shape file likewise you are going to do the same thing so use this search bar from here you can find it and for uh, projecting your raster you can use project raster so open this tool up and input your raster mode is LC2020 and you can see the default projection and we are going to change it to projected coordinate system 44M click on OK you can choose the location anywhere where to save it using this option now click on OK to begin the process so we need to make sure that the shape file and raster must be in same projection system so if you just project it from geographic to projected coordinate system you can easily ca calculate the distance area and all or measurements that will be better so now let us remove the previous data sets and now let us clip it so in the search bar just type in clip hit search so clip that is data management tools that clip we need to use now we are going to input our raster layer modus and we are going to use the boundary file to clip it use the input feature for clipping geometry maintain clipping extent in environments select it and the processing extent will be same as the shape file boundary and just come down the raster analysis you can select the mask and once again select the study area boundary that is shape file now click on ok and let us click ok to begin the process so now we have successfully clipped it you can see here like this you can clip we just need to change the colors give the color codes so if you find this video useful Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone. Goodbye.